Hey guys, so I have a very important serious word to share with you. With this video message, you guys, I have been given permission to share with you guys an experience that occurred to me last night that has everything to do with what the Lord is going to be talking to you guys here. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the message I received uh, uh, before my experience last night from the Lord. I received a message, and after this message, I had um, this very different um, um, experience that um, will hopefully enlighten you guys and awaken you guys to the reality of our walk now, to what we are to experience now. This is why the Lord has delivered this message. Um, so please take heed. Bear with me. This video is going to be longer than normal. And um, I, I pray, I pray that you guys um, truly understand uh, uh, what what the Lord is trying to um, relate to you. It is 1.58 p.m. in Toronto, Canada. Um, it is January 23rd. I will f now begin with the message that the Lord has for you all today. Okay? Dear daughter, the Nephilim have descended. I want you to warn my people and to speak of the experience you had last night. This is your duty today. Warn them, daughter, of the severe darkness that lurks. It is crucial that they be armed, ready, and prepared to face such evils. The attacks will be severe, horrific for some. This is why you must all be in me, ever close, for I am your only protection and defense. They seek to harm and to kill. They will stop at nothing. Daughter, tell my people of their cruelty. They are here to harm, to deceive, and to take over. These are the most evil times indeed. My people must be aware that the battle is not like before. It is a fight that they cannot win on their own, only with me. Children, do not be deceived. They will attempt to disrupt and to destroy you. Your daily life, they will come, they come to corrupt. They come with pure hatred and malice, enmity and wickedness so evil, unlike anything before. You are to be focused upon me at all times. Stay close, do not fear, but be on guard, for they will attack you when you least expect. My children, the battle has become much harder. You will be weary. I tell you to rest in me, for you yourselves cannot comprehend the depth of the spiritual reality surrounding you now. They have returned. They are everywhere. They have great power, power which can only be defeated, made null and void by me. You must have your spiritual armor on at all times. This is a serious warning, for your circumstances have changed dramatically. Life on earth is no longer the same. The darkness has come. It has descended. It has made landfall. Do not be surprised of the evils that come against you. Expect them. Remain diligent and strong in me. I am always with you. I will not let my little ones be harmed. They will do all they can, children, to bring you down, to lead you astray. Abide in me and you shall not be moved. This is a warning I have spoken. Come to me to receive such confirmation yourselves. These words I have declared are true. All is not what it seems, children. Trust me. Trust only in me. Do not doubt. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You must hold on like never before. This is serious. The threats against my people, the world, have multiplied. I love you dearly, children. I will help you endure. Surrender your all. Give me your burdens, and I will see you through. Continue to repent daily. Forsake all sin from your lives. Deny yourselves. Pick up your cross and follow me, where I guide and lead you. It is the only way. Your obedience is crucial. Your Lord and Savior, Yeshua. Okay. So that was the message the Lord had for you guys today. Now I'm going to read you guys the first part of a message I received last night. Um, this was after 12 p.m. I had prayed, pressed into the Lord. I was speaking in tongues. And um, the Lord uh, provided me a, a quite long message um, about a variety of things. But the beginning of the message in particular 
relates to this topic of the Nephilim, this topic, this, this reality of the Nephilim, um, the Lord was warning me. And um, usually when the Lord warns me in messages, whether it be persecution, whether it be um, good things to come or bad, it usually happens within a few hours or the next day. As usual, I mean, the Lord gave me a warning, and that night I had an experience, and it had everything to do with what the Lord had just told me. And so I'm going to read you the message, and then I'm going to explain to you guys what I experienced last night and why the Lord wanted me to share it with you, why my experience last night was very significant. There are a few elements to this experience um, that I have never encountered before and that have everything to do with with the new battles we are in the new entities that we are encountering the Nephilim okay so I'm gonna to read to you guys this first part of the message okay beware of the terrors to come horrible evils are upon the world these things I tell you are true major calamities are looming and they are to unfold at a rapid rate rate without question truly be prepared the time is now to be ready for anything and everything now you will see the world plunge into darkness and chaos like never before satan has increased his attacks you will be under fire more than ever he will try to overpower you but he cannot he will fail you must be vigilant and watchful more than ever now The journey has become even harder. Much more endurance is required. Have no fear, for I am with you always. Just be aware of the dangers that lure, that lurk, and the forces of the enemy that come against you. You will be weary, more tired than usual. This is why you must rest and abide in me. The world is not your home any longer. You are mine. You belong to me. I hide you beneath my wings. You are protected, safe, and secure. All attempts of the devil will fail, but daughter, he will work hard. Press into me now. Worship and praise me at all times. Surrender your all to me daily. I want every moment of your time. You must decrease and I must increase. Events will be unfolding rapidly now. Much evil and distress has been released. Watch as tables turn. So I'm leave it, it at that, okay? Um, so usually before I go to bed, I receive a message from the Lord, you know, just, um, um, so that was just a, a short snippet of, uh, what the Lord had, uh, given me last night. Um, so, um, with that message, you know, I told myself, I said to myself, you know what, I want to know what I'm up against. So I guess the Holy Spirit brought to mind the fallen angels. The Lord did not mention the fallen angels in this message. He just mentioned the devil and just a number of things that are going to be occurring in my life. Um, but what I just read to you, um, just, you know, um, increased demonic uh, warfare and attacks, okay? And so I was like, okay, I want to know what I'm up against. So I decided to go online and to research, check out uh, videos and um, documentaries on the fallen angels and the Nephilim. And so um, after, um, you know, uh, uh, just uh, uh, pressing into the Lord, I did this and um, I came across quite a few videos, a few documentaries. I watched one in particular that was awesome. It is awesome. I'm actually not done watching it. I will share the link with you guys below. The information is incredible. Um, it really puts it all together. It ties everything together from Genesis to the Book of Enoch to the Illuminati, New World Order, and the plan of the enemy, the plan of Satan, um, the satanic uh, uh, plan and 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 and, and, and um, these these occult uh, uh, occult secret societies and um, every just everything to do with the end times and the times that we are in and um, most significantly the Nephilim the fallen angels and aliens UFOs and so um, you know I started to fall asleep I put the, my computer away. And um, honestly, in a very short amount of time, as I'm drifting to sleep, um, I felt myself being punched in the spirit, like just pounded on, pounded on. And I actually felt this demon like 
I felt this entity like pound on me and then like move, like flee because I woke up to it. And I mean, I, I, I was just like, what the, you know, what's going on? And then I just knew. So I rebuked it. I, 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 I was just like, no, you know, I, I wasn't going to tolerate it. And so I fought back and I just felt the, en the entity, um, um, you know, shift, uh, just leave, um, like leave my, um, where I was. And, um, you know, I thought, I knew it wouldn't, wasn't completely over, but I was like, okay, like, you know, I, re I, 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 I made sure to stand my ground. Um, not much long after that, you know, I was drifting off to sleep again. So, you know, in a half sleep state and I, I wrote all this down. At this point, I felt like I was being mulled, mulled, like as if some type of large creature beast was mulling me and within a matter of seconds I felt myself being pinned to my bed as if there was an entity over my body and pinning me down so what I'm going to tell you guys is um, uh, this was this happened uh, this was a precursor to me being um, under uh, sleep paralysis so I, I had I was attacked and then uh, as soon as I'm pinned down within seconds, I, I encounter sleep paralysis, okay? But this was no ordinary sleep paralysis. I'm going to tell you guys, I've experienced sleep paralysis quite a bit upon this journey, um, being in this in this um, path on this um, narrow road with Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And, um, you know, I, I've you know, encountered all kinds of demonic, um, um, uh, forces and, and, and bizarre encounters and dreams. All these really crazy things have happened. Um, I mean, from even before I was in Jesus Christ, but especially being on this journey, I mean, you, you become awakened to the spiritual realm. So it all becomes very real, um, and very constant, you know, it's just a constant reality for all of us, just the spiritual realm, the light and the darkness. And so, um, I feel, I, I mulled, I'm literally pinned down to my bed and then sleep paralysis. But as I just said, this was no ordinary sleep paralysis. Um, this creature, this being that was on top of me, you know, when you're in sleep paralysis, you automatically go into the spiritual realm. So my body was frozen. I was like, I could not move and I was awake in the spiritual realm. Um, it was the most extreme paralysis I've ever encountered, um, and it was so sudden, it was so, uh, brutal, like, like there was so much force, um, the entity that was on top of me, I couldn't see it, I could not see it, but it was very strong, and, um, this, I'm going to go now through all the elements of why this sleep paralysis was very different from other sleep paralysis and, um, why I think the Lord wanted me to share this with you because this entity that was on top of me that was doing, um, um, this, 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 de uh, this demonic act, it, um, I've never felt this kind of entity before. And, and I remember during the sleep paralysis, the the, what kept coming to mind, I'm like, this doesn't feel the same. This is different. I knew, I was just aware of the fact that this was no ordinary sleep paralysis. This was no ordinary demonic attack. That I was, I, I knew I was encountering a stronger being, a more powerful being, and um, just a whole other, uh, 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 a whole other demonic species let's just say that's the only word I can think of it was like a it's a different species you know the demons we've been dealing with before let me tell you it is child's play it, that is kindergarten demonic warfare you know elementary school what I encountered last night is the big leaves you know high school college you know um, I'm just using those as, as metaphors like literally um, the power and the the anger the evil of this force was just uh just amplified just really intense and um not like before and i'm gonna say when i've had sleep paralysis before often the entities are at the foot of my bed beside my bed i'll see a flash of light come in my room 
and um, I'll feel them in the corner of a room, for example. Those have been most of my experiences. Ye last night, as I just pointed out, this entity was on top of me. Like it was a, a direct, very physical um, attack. And again, with other sleep paralysis, I don't often find that um, I'm attacked the way I was last night. Like it usually will be like I'll be half asleep or I'll actually be asleep and then all of a sudden I'll have a sleep paralysis and I'm awakened in the spiritual realm and then, you know, two seconds later it's over. Last night it was just like this process of being physically attacked but in the spiritual realm and then while not even completely asleep, uh, uh, put into sleep paralysis, like the demonic stronghold just went into effect. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to go now into some really, really bizarre um, aspects of this uh, encounter. The first aspect, while in sleep, the sleep paralysis, I was aware of the entity that was on top of me, but for some reason, because, I mean, my spiritual eyes, I mean, I couldn't completely see the being, the creature. All I knew, it was very beast-like, and it was huge, and um, it was, like, very, very, very um, just angry, malicious, brutal. And um, behind the creature, I saw, like, and, and I'm going to tell you guys this, it, it's the spiritual realm, so it's like I feel it. I didn't see it, the, I didn't have a complete visual, it wasn't manifested here on earth, it was in the spiritual realm, but I saw a room. I saw what it was, like a rectangle or square, and I knew it was like a room and or a spaceship. It felt like there was something on top of the roof of my building. So if that means anything to you guys, like I could feel this entity on top of me, pinning me down. I'm fighting it. I'm, I'm, I'm pleading the blood. I, I'm, I'm rebuking him in Jesus' name. I'm telling him to leave. I'm taking my authority. But as I'm doing this, I could see in the spiritual realm, like there was some type of room, some type of um, um, spaceship above myself and this entity above my building above my apartment like above the room and you know because it's the spiritual realm there are no uh, limits to the dimensions and, and and to to whatever it is this 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 uh this this physical space was but it just felt like some type of room or spaceship and that was bizarre because again in sleep paralysis I've never experienced anything like that I have seen in sleep paralysis um, you know entities trying to chain me um, I've seen like the silver cord um, I've seen again flashes of light uh, I physically have felt demons and, and demonic forces try to grab at me um, pinch me I felt them try to pull at my spirit, try to like tug my spirit out of my body. I've experienced all of that. Uh, many of us have. Um, I've, I've encountered many people who've had similar experiences. You know, some people say they've felt Satan or demons try to pull their blankets off of them. That has never happened to me. But I've had experiences where I've actually felt them try to tug at me and pull me out of my bed. Um, you know, but with this encounter, um, just... I didn't feel that magnetic pull that they were trying to take my spirit. Now this is the most significant. This is the most, this is this is like the juice of, okay, so never have I experienced this before. And this is how I know it is a fallen angel, that it was a Nephilim, and that this was a not an ordinary battle. In the short amount of time that I was under this demonic stronghold, this sleep paralysis, I felt a trance, a hypnotic, uh, uh, a hypnotic euphoria come over me. Okay, so 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 listen carefully to that. As I was put into sleep paralysis, uh, I, quickly I felt like I was being hypnotized, like they were trying to hypnotize me, and I knew that they were trying to have me worship them. This entity was trying to have me worship it. Maybe there were multiple beings. I don't know. 
I don't know. All I know is that I felt this like hypnotic euphoria, this trance kind of try to take over me and I was fighting against it. I was fighting against this hypnotic like lull. It was like trying to lull me into worship and into worshiping it and I just kept pleading Jesus Christ and I was like you know just just saying all kinds of things like I love my Lord Jesus I'll never bow down to you because I could feel it trying to have me worship it it wanted me to worship it like like and and it literally felt like hypnosis it felt like I was and I've undergone hypnosis when I was into the new age and everything I've I've, I've encountered it but this was like a supernatural hypnosis like no human can do this was a huge it was powerful it was powerful but the glory and grace of God is more powerful so this being didn't actually get a hold of me I fought against it I, I I felt the the hypnosis but I just rebuked it I was like I will never bow down to you I just kept fighting and 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 uh, proclaiming scripture and pleading the blood and commanding this demon to leave in Jesus name and um, um, slowly slowly I felt him him the being release me I felt the being release me but I'm telling you never have I encountered that hypnotic effect that's what made the sleep paralysis this encounter um, truly truly um, 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 different from any other any other uh, spiritual warfare that I have undergone um, this is what made um, this experience really just um, honestly extraordinary there was a hypnotic euphoria and trance that just speaks of the power of these beings and this is why we are really um, although we're safe in Jesus Christ and I again like I didn't have any fear but it was it really took a lot of battling and the Lord said it in my message last night and to you guys today much more endurance is going to be needed we are going to be worn out and this is why we need to rest in him and abide in him because because of my strong foundation in the Lord like these entities could not uh, 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 like you know you know uh, uh, maintain maintain um, a stronghold upon me they couldn't grasp and, and hold me down but they tried and they were they are going to try they are going to try and I'm telling you this hypnotic this hypnotic effect was very strong it was really really um, just uh, it was forceful it was potent and it just like it's like it was automatic and it was it was supernatural you guys so please like take heed to the dangers that do surround us like the Lord isn't playing we are not in the 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 the, the spiritual battles that we've been dealing with for for the last little while we are in a whole new realm a whole new um, playground of, of spiritual entities and energies and forces that have never been upon earth that are only here for these end times we are honestly up against really dark powerful forces have no fear for if you are in Christ they can do nothing they can't touch you but know that our battles are going to be harder know that we are going to need more strength and we are going to need to rely on the Lord even more so you know see yourself as a mighty warrior I see myself as such a warrior I actually feel very strong today just because of dealing what I dealt with last night and um, being very face to face with this entity it, this battle was very face to face like it was just uh, like just very heavy it was massive you know and um, uh, it, it really blew my mind even even after the experience I couldn't go to bed for a while and I just I was blown away like I was like what was that like this hypnotic effect imagine those people who are not in Christ the possession that's going to be taking place you guys the possession um, the the control these forces will have over people who are not in Jesus Christ who are not of God that is terrifying and this and even I'm, I'm talking about the people who've just come into the fold the people who are only coming to Christ now they have these entities these darker more malevolent malevolent forces uh, uh, to deal with they have these even um 
stronger uh, uh, evil, evil, evil spirits um, uh, uh, attacking them, coming against them. You know, it's taking me months to get to this place of strength and courage and spiritual authority, you know. And um, I thank the Lord for blessing me and, and being with me always. But I'm telling you, you guys, this is a whole new ball game. This is this is a whole new ball game and you want to be ready and prepared you want to have your spiritual armor on your bible always at your side and um, you want to make sure that when you wake up in the morning when you go to bed you are strong in the lord and that you are in him that you are walking in the spirit because what i saw when i was encountering this demonic force it's like the spaceships are here everything's here you know everything is here they're here and um I'm telling you, you know, I've, I've, I've mentioned this in some videos, my video of the word about um, fallen angels uh, from the Lord warning about them, um, you know, I mentioned that I've encountered uh, reptilians in the flesh, like uh, disguised um, reptilians, I've had, I was followed by reptilians. I have not seen UFOs, I have not encountered UFOs, but I have encountered reptilian aliens in the flesh. Um, so many bizarre and supernatural encounters happened during that time period when they were following me, when um, they were manifesting themselves um, before me. This is so real. It is so real. And um, whether it be spiritual or physical, the battle is on. and. Um, you know, when I encountered the reptilians, I wasn't in Jesus Christ, but God was watching over me and he was taking care of me. I encountered angels at that time because I needed that protection. My life was threatened. And what I'm going to say is I've never encountered more evil than when I had those reptilians um, after me. And last night, the evil I experienced, like, you guys, we really don't even know the times that we're in. We don't even know I mean, we, we, I don't care how many dreams, visions, how many YouTube videos you guys have watched and, and, and about all this stuff. We really cannot comprehend what is going to come to pass. And our Lord warns us and he warns us, but it's always, you know, it always is a whole other reality when we're experiencing it, when it actually comes to play, when it comes to life. And um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I, I pray that you guys will remain blessed and be blessed by this video and by my experience so that you understand just how severe these things are going to be. Um, you want to be aware and abiding in truth and be discerning at all times because these forces are powerful and they will be able to have an effect on you unless you are, uh, if you're not in Christ and you must be obedient, holy and righteous. The less uh, power, Satan has less power when you are obedient and holy and righteous before God, when you are close to God, when you are um, in the Father's will and divine plan. This is why we must be obedient, not only to honor the Lord and show yourselves worry, but because you decrease the power of the enemy over your life. And, um, you know, we're all going to be attacked by the enemy until the end. We're always going to be in spiritual warfare and battle. Battle. The night is always darkest before dawn. It's only increasing. That's what the Lord keeps saying. Like the battle hasn't ended. It's gotten worse. It's gotten more intense. But um, so stay in the Lord. Stay close. Obey His every word and command, and do His will for your life. That is the only way you'll be safe, protected, and secure. Um, I love you all. I thank you all. Please check out, and this is me, this is not of the Lord, this is me, but please check out the link below of the um, documentary about fallen angels and the Nephilim. It is very profound. There's so much information and it really ties everything, everything together. So I recommend you guys check it out. Again, that is not of the Lord, that is myself. So please, um, uh, the Lord did not tell you guys to watch that movie. I am saying you guys should check it out because I do want to be informed about these Nephilim and fallen angels. And um, I would also recommend reading the Book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch is phenomenal, and Genesis, of course. Okay, so uh, blessings to you all, and I pray, I pray that you will uh, just uh, be enriched and enlightened and forewarned. Do your research, you guys. Um, Get to know the facts and, and, and do not be ignorant about what we are up against, okay? 
Um, goodbye and have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.